Hi, Hi, and Jim here, and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoving. And, uh, well, you know, this is the new MSR Whisperlite Universal. It's a new stove coming out for 2012. This is a prototype. And uh, I thought I would show you what it's like to change the jet. So this is a multi-fuel stove, and each class of fuel has its own particular jet. And so, um, just to show you the capabilities of the stove, I thought I'd change one of the jets. Right now I've got the white gas jet in it, which is what it comes installed with. And um, so I'm going to just pop that jet out. So this is really easy. Turn this over, undo the priming cup slash spirit cup, turn it a few times, remove the priming wick, pull the fuel line out. Okay? There's your jet right there. Actually, it's already loose enough. <laughs> it's a little surprising. Uh, it's actually loose enough so that I can pull it out. There's your shaker needle right there with the weight and the needle. Okay, now let's take a look. Here's the two jets. On my right, you'll, if you can see that, I don't know if you can, but uh, the right jet is marked UC. And that's for the universal, that's the name of the stove, canister. In other words, canister gas. And on the left, the, the uh, one that's a little bit shorter is marked UG. And G is universal, well, G is gasoline, but U is uh, universal, so universal gasoline. So there's a difference in heights. The height of the gas jet, this jet here, that is to restrict the amount of air that goes in so you get the proper mix. You need a lot more air with gasoline and a lot less air with canister gas. Okay, so I've got my fuel line to install that jet. I'm just going to put it into the jet socket, turn it, then I'm going to use the supplied tool. It's got a little indentation in it. I'm going to just tighten that down a little bit, just like that. I'm going to pop it back into the stove here. Okay. Now, that's it. On that's a correct jet change in general. How it's done. I did one <laughs> silly thing. I forgot to put the uh, shaker jet needle back into it. But that's it. That's all you need to do to, to change the jet. Okay. And I'll, before I fire it up, I will put the shaker jet needle in. Now, people have asked, uh, is this secure right here? See how there's just a little clip. Actually, it's pretty secure. It, it'll move a little bit, but it's not a problem. It's not going to fall out and it's not going to move around, uh, the fuel line is stable where it is. Okay? So that's just something to note. Uh, the other thing you've got to do is you've got to change the attachment at the end of the fuel line. Okay? So uh, there's a different attachment for canisters. That's this attachment. Here comes the tool again, supplied with the stove. There's a nut here. Take that nut, loosen that up a little bit until you can get it to where it's finger undoable, if that's a word. Take that attachment off, which is the white gas slash kerosene attachment or liquid fuel attachment, and then put on the canister gas attachment. More. Shh, honey, we're talking about stoves right now. My assistant is with me. And then we take our lovely tool here, okay? And then we sync it up, okay? So that's it. That's how you change the uh, adapter at the end of the fuel line so you can get a different type of fuel. And that'll just, like any other canister, screw into a canister of gas. The uh, liquid fuel canister fits right into any MSR standard pump. It would not fit the Dragonfly pump, but any MSR standard pump. And uh, it's just the same way that you always thread any uh, fuel uh, line, you moisten it and insert, and then, uh, well, you pop that around the uh, pump rod and then lock it into place on the back. So it is just the exact same pump as you'd have on a regular Whisper Light or an XGK or a Simmer Light or any liquid fueled stove that MSR has ever made. and. Uh, you just have to attach it or detach it from the fuel line depending on which fuel you need to use for a given trip. 
So anyway, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here on the MSR Whisperlight Universal. And I hope uh, you've enjoyed another episode of Adventures in Stubbing. I'm Hike and Jim. Thanks.